Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at the evolution of Team Transberry Juice Piston Cup Racers Lee Revkins number 63 and the two with the number six from Cars 3 Marcus Krenksler and Bubba Wheelhouse. Before we get right into the review for each one of them, let me discuss something. <clears throat> Throughout the years of the Piston Cup, there has been a generation of Team Transberry Juice Racers with the traditional color scheme, purple and yellow, but with some changes to the team number. Starting from 63, then from 2, all the way to number 6. This was done by Pixar in order to have NASCAR drivers make a cameo as next-gen Piston Cup racers in Cars 3. And now... Without any further ado, let's dig right into the review and the retrospective for each one of them. First, we're going to start off with Lee Revkins, number 63, from Cars 1. <clears throat> Lee Revkins is an Axello Vision Piston Cup racer who bears the number 63 for Transberry Juice. And he also shares a similar body mold with, with Aiken Axler, even though Aiken Axler is a Lux Motor Co. Piston Cup V8. During his appearance in the first Cars movie, he was one of the racers to participate in the Dynaco 400 of the 2005 Piston Cup season at the Motor Speedway of the South. And he also got tapped off of the track by Chick Hicks while battling for first place. And again, during the multi-car wreck, which was caused by Hicks. And he wasn't able to finish the race ever since, nor has any speaking lines in the film. During his diecast releases, he was released a number of times in singles and in a two-pack with Chick Hicks. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we have his angry, determined facial expression, his purple exterior paintwork, his gr no grill, just the headlight stickers with the yellow number 63 on one of them. And on the hood, we've got a Transberry Juice logo. And on both sides, we've got the yellow number 63, the exhaust pipes, and the black rims on the black wall light year racing tires. The few, several contingency logos saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitaling, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leak Lust, Retraining, Clutch Shade. The Transberry Juice logo in the gas cap. Yellow number 63 on top. No name signature. We've got the yellow ducktail spoiler. And on the back we've got the Transberry Juice logo in the middle. The, re the red taillight stickers with the yellow number 63 on one of them. And on the back bumper we've got a bit of purple and yellow background. 
And on the undercarriage, it says Disney slash Pixar, made in China, Mattel. And that is it for Lee Revkins. Up next is Marcus Krangsler, number six from Cars 3. <clears throat> Marcus Krangsler is a Brawny Motor Co. Spark EA Piston Cup racer who bears the number six for the Transbury Juice team. And he shares a similar body mold to Bobby Swift. During his appearance in Cars 3, during the 2016 Piston Cup season, he was one of the racers to participate in the Dynaco Light 350 of the 2016 season itself at the Motor Speedway of the South. Then, later on during the season, when Next Gen Racers started dominating the Piston Cup circuit, he was dropped out by his sponsor Transbury Juice in favor of a next-gen racer named Bubba Wheelhouse, which we'll get to him later. He hasn't been seen since, nor has any speaking lines in the film. <clears throat> During his diecast releases, he was released only one time as a single for 2018 as part of the Piston Cup Racers series. And he hasn't been re-released as a diecast ever since. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we have his happy, friendly facial expression, his purple exterior paintwork, his black grill, working headlights, yellow number six. On the hood, we got a bit of yellow and blue background, the Transbury Juice logo. And on both sides, we've got the Lightyear logo on the front fenders, black rims on the black wall Lightyear racing tires, yellow number six, and a bit of yellow and blue on the enamel, red arrow at the bottom indicating a pity to lift him up. View contingency logos saying Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitrate, Octane Gain, and Clutch Shade. And a Transberry Juice logo and a gas cap. And on the right side, we have the exhaust pipes. And on the top, we have a bit of purple and blue, yellow number six, no name signature. And on the trunk, We've got another Transbury Juice logo and the bit of yellow back on the yellow background and the purple ducktail spoiler. And on the back, we have a bit of purple background, Transbury Juice logo and a camera in the middle and the red working taillights. And on the back bumper, we got we have a yellow number 6 and a slogan, "Let loose the juice." On the undercarriage, it says Mattel, made in China, Disney slash Pixar. And that is it for Marcus Cranksler. And last but not least, finally, here we have Bubba Wheelhouse, number six from Cars 3. <clears throat> Bubba Wheelhouse is a next gen piston cup racer who currently bears the number six for the Transbury Juice team, shares a similar body to Tim Treadless, and was named after and voiced by NASCAR driver Bubba Wallace, who currently drives the number 23 Toyota Camry for Team 23XI, and also previously drove the number six Ford for in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. <clears throat> during his appearance in Cars 3, during the 2016 Piston Cup season, he replaced the 
when Next Gen Racer started dominating the Piston Cup circuit, he replaced the previous Team Transbury Juice racer, Marcus Krangsler. Then later on, on, in the film, before the Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston, Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston Cup season, he was then interviewed about Lightning McQueen's current whereabouts, and and he said that it would be best for Lightning to not show up after his crash in 2016. Then later on, after the Florida 500 itself, he, along with Chase Racelot, Danny Suarez, and Ryan Inside Laney, were congratulating Cruz Ramirez for her victory by flipping over Jackson Storm to take first place. During his diecast releases, he was released a couple of times in a single for 2017 and in a five pack for 2022. And he hasn't been re released as a regular diecast nor as a single ever since. <clears throat> and now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we have his grumpy facial expression, his dark purple paint, exterior paintwork, black grill, working headlights, And on the hood, we got a bit of purple and bubbles and a light blue interior and the letters saying TJ, which are the initials for Transbury Juice. And on both sides, we've got the black rims on the next-gen black wall light year racing tires. And a bit of yellow interior with a purple number six and a bit of light blue at the bottom. And the exhaust pipes and the yellow arrow indicating a pity to lift them up. A few contingency logos saying piston cup, carbon cyber combustor, carbon cyber and synergy, and a gas cap. And on and the trans and on the top we got the Transbury Juice on both sides and on the top and on the the top of his roof we've got a light blue number violet number six no name signature and on the spoiler we've got a Transbury Juice logo with on the purple background with yellow bubbles and on the back we've got the red working taillights Violet number six and yellow letters TJ and the gold rookie stripes implying that he's a rookie. And on the undercarriage, it says Dizzy slash Pixar made in China, Mattel. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which Team Transbury Juice is your favorite. Is it Lee Revkins, Marcus Cranksler, or Bubba Wheelhouse? Well, mine's personally Bubba Wheelhouse, because he's my favorite NASCAR cameo next gen racer, along with Ryan Inside Laney, Danny Suarez, and of course, Chase Racelot. Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. 
Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review. So please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now.